Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Sort of Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be unboxing ISS Vanguard. But first I'm gonna show you this video. Okay, so wave two finally arrived. I can't use my other camera because it can't zoom out far enough. So these are all the boxes that were in there. And I'm going to, of course, unbox all of them now. But I just want to give you the overview before we start. Okay, so that explains why not everything fits in the image here. So I realize that uh, maybe most of you already have the base game. Now I'm still going to unbox it and then I'm going to unbox everything else. So if you've seen the unboxing of the base game already, then just check the, um, the stamps, the timestamps and just go forward to whatever you want. Okay. All right. Let's get this going. Okay. So first of all, we have the letter, which will most likely be a thank you letter. So yeah, basically, uh, a big thank you letter. You can pause and read it if you can. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna read it all. Just, uh, you know, the usual stuff. But I like how they add the, the instruction on what to do if there's like broken or missing parts. That's always very nice. So this can go to the side. And then we have the main box. So I'm gonna take the plastic off first. Okay, so here we have the main box, ISS Vanguard by Awakened Realms. Let's take a look at the sides. The sides are not that special. It's just always the same ISS Vanguard on each side, except I guess you can see on this side, you still have some of the terrain that you can see. And let me just check if the other side is different. Well, yeah, it is a little bit different. Here you also have some of the terrain. And then here, it's also a little bit different. And then the back of the box, there we go. No, I'm actually, so wait, 14 plus, 20 plus plans of explorations, two to four hours each, one to four players. All right, so I'm super excited about this because I've been waiting for this for like, what, two, uh, two years now, because I did one wave shipping instead of two wave. So I've been chomping at the bits, but I'm happy it's finally here. I do not think there will be art on the inside, but you never know. No, it's just black. It's better than nothing. All right, so let's do it like this, put it next to each other. Okay, so, I'm, so I guess we're gonna start with the punch boards, which I will open now. Okay, so this is the first punch board. I think many of these miniatures, oh, sorry, many of these uh, aliens will actually turn out to be miniatures but it's good to have it anyway some ships and other things there we go then we have the rule book okay so you can read the official iss vanguard introduction comic book to learn more about the iss vanguard's mission all the components here. Structure, how it works. Called card holder tutorials. Has a bunch of downloadable resources. Oh, that looks really cool. It's busy also the tutorial actually. Uh, so yeah, I haven't watched any videos uh, how to play or whatever because I do not want to be, I don't, don't want to get spoiled. Also, it just hurt too much <laughs> in the beginning when I realized I wouldn't get my copy that I did single wave shipping instead of two wave. So these are actually already chapter two and three. So I'll just do like this. I don't want to spoil anything accidentally. So we've got the icons glossary, game terms glossary. And the index. Okay. Then we have this here. I guess I can just open it immediately. 
There we go. So this is for the binder, obviously, because you can see the holes, right? So resuming a saved game, the bridge and the star map, the ship facilities, research laboratory or research laboratory, production complex, the barracks and the situation room, the hangar and the mission launch procedure, Beginning exploration and leaving the planets, docking and debriefing, unloading, the med bay, memorial wall, safe points. Okay. But here, I get rid of this. And this is, I think, part of the binder already. So let's first get this out first. The Planetopedia. Uh, so these are different places where you can actually land on. Yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna go through this. Do not use until instructed the victory pool, okay? All right, so. Do not open. Okay, I want that. Okay, and then I still have some other stuff before I can get the binder out. System maps, it doesn't say anything about not opening, but it already gives some, uh, some yeah, it's also spoiler stuff, so I'm not gonna go through this either. Uh, it's gonna be a very quick unboxing like this. Uh, it says Vanguard X Fortudini Veritas. Oh, this is the uh, comic book, the prologue. Okay. Nice. Seems like cool art and so on. Yeah. Cool. I will definitely make videos of this, for sure. I mean, I say that a lot, I know, and I don't always do it because other stuff happens. But uh, this one I've been waiting for so long, definitely I will do. So the operations book, uh, we can also use the app. Okay, cool. And then we have the log book, which is a lot thicker. You can also use the app again. Also has a bunch of logs that you can read, stuff that happens, I guess. It's like a storybook. And then here we have ship, a dragonfly, Space Ranger, the Fast Schlag, is it double sided? Yeah, Pelican, Void Ranger, Fast Schlag, and Waygate. Okay, cool. And then we have this, that's obviously for. Sorry, it's obviously also for the binder, the memorial, the injuries, right, so it's on the other side. I'll right, just do it like this. Well, the other way around. So, awaiting, then here, bridge upgrades, more bridge upgrades. This is some other stuff, blue stuff. Ready for production. Production upgrade, production queue, basic landers, different types of landers, lander mods, unique discoveries, med bay upgrade, critical injuries, other injury injuries, security memorial, science memorial, engineer memorial, recon memorial, and so on. Okay. Then we have the end of the binder. Okay, cool. So this is the binder, ship book. So you can also see here we have 
bridge, tarmac, facilities, research, production, and so on. So the commander pool, energy pool, and success pool. All right. Then here, we have some of the boards. So security, always first in line. Science, searching for questions. Oh yeah, this is the back of science. This is the back of security. Oh, this doesn't change anything, just a word. Okay. Then recon, beyond new horizons. And engineering, do the undoable. Okay. The minis I will do later with the other camera. All right. So take this, put it on the side. Then we have some standees. No need to take this out of the plastic. There's nothing special. More standees. More. Then we have a little baggy. It's empty. Another empty bag. But of course it does have the icons on them. Some cubes that I'm not going to open either. They're just cubes. Then we have the dice. You know, pretty sweet. Now, there's a bunch of dice here. And you also have the option of getting upgraded dice. And I've heard, well, mixed opinions on the upgraded dice. Right? But I do have them. And once I finish going through these, I will show them later because I'll, I'll do them separately. Uh, so people can find them easier with the timestamps. There we go. Whoa. Trying to escape already. And then last but not least, we have these dice here. They're just a D8. Then some radiation dice. Then these orange ones. Oh. Okay. There we go. I'm sure they'll eventually be put, be put somewhere else, but uh, yeah. Okay, we have a bunch of cards here. Space Ranger. Uh, or Aragon, Aragon Saboteur. It says, place this side down. I don't think I'm going to open this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, because it says, place this side down. It's going to be like this, right? Well, you know, I'll open it anyway. We'll see. We'll see what happens. There you go. So we have the Space Ranger, Pelican, Dragonfly, Void Ranger, Reference Car. Oh, so, no, okay, we'll do a nice one by one. Space Ranger, Pelican, Dragonfly, um, Vostschlag, Void Ranger, Waygate, and then Reference Cards. I think these are all no spoilers. More Reference Cards, Reference Cards, Deadly Space Mode. I um, don't want to check the other stuff, actually. I'm just scared for spoilers, guys. I'm sorry. And ladies are just guys. Okay. What is in here? The planetary scanner. Pay the cost above and push the landing card up until you see another cost. Okay. Okay, so next up, <coughs> we have this deck of cards. This has events and so on in it. I'm just going to be safe. I'm not going to open any of these cards. I'm just going to show you what it shows on both both sides and that's it. Okay, it might not be much of an unboxing like that, but it is a campaign. I really don't want to make any uh, stupid mistakes. Current system. So I guess that's uh, something to click on. Gather discoveries. You need discoveries. So these are just... Uh, I think I can open this. I think these are just dividers so there's no real danger of spoiling anything for myself 
So we get gathered discoveries, lander mods, bridge cards, rank ups, injuries, events, discoveries, and unique discoveries. Okay. And here, this side up, tutorial deck B. So of course, please don't open it. Yeah. And here we have a b three big decks. And also sleeves, but they're print they have printed stuff on them. So that's very cool. So you see the number. Yeah, so these are all stuff uh, do not reveal until manufactured missions, global conditions. So all that stuff has to be discovered, I imagine. All right. Then two smaller decks here. Equipments and more equipment. So there you go. And then some other stuff here. Unavailable equipment. So this is also a divider divider. So there's only two of them, so armory and unavailable equipment. And then here it is the rest, the others. So this one I will open. So resting crew, recruits, recorded planets, landing cards, facility upgrades, possible situations, future situations, research projects, production projects, points of interest, missions, global conditions, and planet cards. Nice. Okay. So that's this one. So then we have the white one next to it. It's obvious that you can take this out. It also has a letter. This is letter B. So I doubt there's anything underneath it, but yeah, there's nothing underneath. But I'm gonna take it out for a bit, just so I can uh, take a look, have an easier look of looking at white here, which has A or the V from Vanguard, whatever. So let's see. This is also yeah, campaign stuff and everything apparently. Tech levels, yeah. Just showing what's in here, but uh, reinforced hull, locating craft world. So these are all just extra stuff. I'm not sure if I'm. Points of interest, more points of interest. More points of interests and more points of interests. Okay, and then we have other stuff. Personal files, people apparently. Yeah, tutorials, deck A, personnel file. So this is all like this, so I, I should probably keep it in the correct order. So I'll put them back like that. And these are once again. Dividers. So, section cards, oh, all well, section cards and rank sleeves. Okay. We have these containers. You can see that they're in different colors. Okay, and different icons as well, different symbols. And these two have actual cards in them. section. Okay. And here, also section. So in general, it's kind of a short unboxing because I, I don't really want to want to mess around. You know, I want to be 100% sure. I'm going to put everything back in and uh, I will also now show the minis. And then it's time for the minis. So first of all, take a look at this. Pretty cool. OK. 
Okay. Then some of your crew. The first one. The second one. With a pet. Robot. Seems like. Nice. There we go. Yep. And then another one. Pretty cool. Like it's about to go airborne or something. Uh, then some of the heavies, like this guy here. Pretty impressive. Yeah. And then another heavy ish. Okay, and then there's two more. This one, which is pretty cool. The alien plant, I guess, researching. So I'll repeat it again. Um, I haven't, keep, haven't kept tabs on this game, so all I know what it's about. So this is the first time I'm seeing these minis and everything as well. Okay, so those are the minis in the core box and the core box as a whole. So now we can uh, move on to the next thing will be first the mats and then the dice and then the pets. Here are the play mats. This is the first one. Second one. The third one. And the fourth one. I think my table will once again be too small, but okay. All right, so those are the mats. And then we can continue with, like I said, the dice. There we go. All right, let's get everything out. So I think the comment was on the ones, I think these ones, that it's difficult to see the faces in a darker room and so on. Uh, I think they, they look pretty cool, but like I said, I haven't tried playing with them yet, so... At any rate, it's good to have options, right? They do look very spiffy. And we got the others. They're obviously very a lot darker than the, the basic ones. Right. They are quite dark. And this one. I think I especially like these red ones. And the fact that all of them have like this gradient is cool, but on the other hand, it can make them, I think that's what makes them a bit too dark. Like if it only had the red or orange, that would be nice. But because of the gradient that's in there, some places are quite, some areas are quite dark, which I think takes away from it a little bit. Okay. We also have a sparkly D4. There we go. So 
So I think definitely my first couple of games I will play with these guys and then we'll see. But for the video, if I, if I record it might be better to use the regular ones because the colors are a lot easier to distinguish than these. Okay, those were the dice. On to the pets. Actually, I should also just show you the bag, which I haven't done. So. Okay, so then we have the pets. Section pests. Pets. Not pests, but pets. So we have the alternative pet. Engineering. Recon, science, and security. They're all alternative pets. And it just says the cosmetic add-on. Okay, it does not include any board game rules or whatever. It's just purely something you can swap out with the base game. So, here they are. I'm going to show it with the other camera. Here's the first one. Looks pretty big for a pet. But very nice, nonetheless. Okay, and then the next one, this one I think is really cool, is the monkey. Looks very cute. Here we go. And then the llama. Okay. All right, that is the pits. Let's move on to the dice tower. Okay, so this is the dice tower which you obviously have to assemble because it has wooden pieces. Um, sorry about that. Obviously you have to assemble it. So let's take a look. Normally it should be done with glue, I imagine. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be too difficult to uh, install. Let's see if I can do it very quickly. Okay, so this is the finished version of the uh, dice tower. There we go. And you can, you know, take this off. And uh, I think even transport it somehow. I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, maybe like this. You can put it on or whatever. Anyway, these two pieces are loose. And you can then just put it there. Definitely use glue. Otherwise, it'll fall apart immediately. Okay. There we go. The dice tower. On to the Galactic Almanac. And I've got paper stuck to my thumb. Great. Okay, so here's the Galactic Almanac. Uh, Awaken Realms, of course. Ex Fortitudine Veritas. Alright. So. It has... Basically, it's all stories. Known systems. Eye of the Void. And so on. I think, I'm not sure if this has spoilers or not. I, maybe it has, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, gives you an idea what's in here, right? Okay, cool. Looks very nice. Then next up, we have the personal files. Let me take off the plastic first. Okay, here are the personal files on the back. It says here it expands the stories of the ISS Vanguard crew members by focusing on their past and current agendas. So it includes a personal quest for each of the 90 core box crew members that they may perform to gain veteran status and a special alternative veteran crew member card. The expansion also includes 180 plus individual story entries in the personal files book. So a lot of foam in here. So this is a nice expansion, which maybe I feel was not necessary. I mean, the expansion stuff is necessary, but this whole form thing is basically just two decks, right? 
um, and then this entry book yeah okay cool so it's kind of a big package for only two decks in this but okay i can't imagine i'll keep it in here so for now i'll put this to the side and probably put this in the main box i imagine okay the remaining items are four bigger boxes we'll do the ones that some people might already have and those are the section boxes it is very light and basically it's just a different way of storing the, the different sections i think but let's take a look okay here we go the box opens here yeah there we go oh it's just the top wow that's nice all four are the same though okay Pretty cool. Yeah, and it opens like this. Nice. Oh, and it's... You can see it's uh, magnets that keep it closed. So you can see the icon here. So is this one different then? Yeah. I guess I can paint them. Uh, and when it comes down to looks, they actually look exactly the same, except for the rooftop. So. I don't really need to show the other two. So, well, I'll show the icon anyway. Show this one then. And this one. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So I might I might paint well I might paint everything uh, eventually. Problem is I just primed Marvel zombies and painted two two of those minis, so there's still a ton to come, so yeah. All right, then next one is Deadly Frontier. Let's open this up and remove the plastic first. Okay, here's a Deadly Frontier box. Let's take a look at the back. Ah, here you see, it's a campaign expanding the world of ISS Vanguard, carefully crafted to match the expectations of ISS Vanguard veterans, but also to surprise them with a new story, characters and gameplay twists. So basically dozens of years have passed since a bunch of space survivors built a shelter made of spaceship wrecks and remains of advanced technologies. But their home wasn't meant to last an eternity and now its time has come. So yeah, a lot of stuff there. Let's take a look and see what is inside. Okay, first of all, the rule book. I'll put this next to it as usual. Draw a bunch of new minis, lots of cards as usual. An expansion mark, section dice, rank up some new threats, campaign setup, and the card holders, and so on. Okay. Nice. So that's the rule book. Then we have the Planetopedia, which of course, you know, has a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to show because it would be spoilerific. And the back just looks like this. The silica gel can go. Then we have the same stuff as before um, for the binder. The same stuff as before for the binder as well. I'm sure there's not much difference there. We have the punch board. Okay. Uh, as usual, a logbook to read from. And then we can take this off. I'll do the minis at the end, just like before. Planet name, remaining unique discoveries, threat sector, threat name, and notes. It's a little thing. And then here, sector A, sector and POI, POI name. Point of interest, of course. And here we have the uh, another uh, set of dividers. Unavailable crew members, star map, colonies, and unavailable section cards. I guess they're supposed to go on top of here. These cards here are equipment. Okay. 
You have these go on top, I'm sure. Let me get over this. These cards are unique discoveries. Yeah, and other stuff. Here we have yeah, a bunch of stuff that I don't know what it is, so we're not going to spend much time on this. All these cards, you know, once again, it's part of the campaign, so I don't think there's much difference there. I mean, of course, content-wise is going to be different, but it's not like I'm going to open anything. We do have Teresa the Void, let me see. So, point of interest and so on. All right. And then we have the minis. I think now it's time to look at them. Oh, wait, there's stuff underneath here. It looks like this. So these are reference, car reference cards and uh, ships and other stuff. All right, let's take a look at the minis. We'll start off with a robot, well, a mech, I guess you could almost say. All right, so for the people watching this who already have the base game and maybe some of these expansions or some of these uh, uh, other things that I've shown, if you have more than one box, it would be very interested to see if anyone has any experience in reboxing all this and where you put it. Because I imagine you want to keep it as se separate as possible because it's different campaigns, but you never know. The next one is really cool. Reminds me a little bit of the bots from Borderlands. I forgot their name. The uh, loader bots. <laughs> this one has a massive head. <laughs> Well, this is, this is very special. Reminds me a little bit of Destiny, the video game. Then we have some uh, alien threats. Yeah, Vacant Realms always has very good minis. This one. Two more to go. <coughs> I really like this one too. And the last one. Looks like a uh, family member of George R. Binks. All right, so that's basically it for the uh, expansion of uh, 
this box anyway. Okay, so now we have Lost Fleet. If we look at the back, it says... Lost Fleet is a continuation of the best-selling board game ISS Vanguard, offering players multiple new options and a complex, intriguing plot. So, uh, basically, many years after Vanguard's uh, initial journey, the global government is shocked by frightening news. Earth's most modern ships have disappeared in mysterious circumstances. And the sole remaining interstellar spaceship, good old Vanguard, is swiftly refitted to embark on a rescue mission. Little do, the crew, little do the crew know that they are about to stumble upon one of the universe's darkest secrets. So basically this just expands the game, uh, where Deadly Frontier makes the game a lot harder apparently. This is just a continuation with a plot, so cool. Let's take a look inside. And after this we still have Close Encounters and then we are done. So... This can go. The rule book is very thin this time around. And I uh, can't immediately see any minis. So, all right. Well, there might be, we'll see. And then the Planetopedia, which as usual, can't really check. Star map. Hacked ship facilities this time. Debriefing, unloading, med bay save points. Yeah, and then the usual pages. I mean, these just have numbers on them, which is new. And survivors' quarters and so on. And this will become a deck hole, a card holder, a deck basically. Then we have a punch board. There we go. Then the system maps for those Lost Fleets, right? Before Lost Fleet, anyway. Then we have Sabretooth, which is cool. And Leviathan, that's also nice. And the operations book <coughs> and the logbook, as usual. So there are no minis, they're just some dice and cards. And of course, dividers. So, oof, this one has a smell though. We have survivors, because that, that fits the theme, of course. We have section again. We have points of interest. We have more points of interest. And then high and medium diplomacy missions. But this is about diplomacy. And then here we have unique discoveries and other things. All right. So the uh, divider seems to be very simple, actually. And it's just one card. Survivors. <laughs> so yeah, wow. That was worth it. Um, it does not fit anywhere except here. Okay. So here we have the regular cards. Place it side down, you know, the deck from before. And here we have the dice. Okay, and then equipment, like an advanced med kit, okay? All right, so that was a basically a very quickly, a very quick unboxing because there's no mini, so that doesn't get added, and I don't really want to check out any of the cards. You can argue, well, why do you do an unboxing in the first place? Well, yeah, I mean, this is the safest way, because if I do an unboxing and I accidentally spoil stuff or whatever, then, you know, People aren't going to be happy either. And I do want to do an unboxing because I was really hyped about this game. So, or I am really hyped about this game. So yeah, we'll see. We will see later when I actually try to play the game. What gets revealed and what not. Okay, let's go over to the last box and that is Close Encounters. Close Encounters is basically what they've done with uh, Tainted Grail and other games as well. It's basically a whole box of minis, as you can see. All right. 
So threats, landers, mission equipment. All right. So I'm going to turn on the other camera, of course, and we will uh, take a look at uh, the news, of course. I really like that they give this sheet so you remember you can see where everything is, but I like it even better what The Witcher did, The Witcher Old World, because they have numbers on the back. And then the number is also on there and you can easily find it again. But yeah, that being said, I think it's really cool. And let's take a look at the uh, minis with the other camera. So here we go. Let's start with the tiny ones. There's like a couple of these. Very tiny ones. They're like head crabs or whatever. Okay. There's like three of those. Then we have this one. Yeah, that's cool. Tentacles. All right. And I have the ones with uh, a couple with shields. And this one's quite heavy. Uh, oh, almost lost control there. Yeah. All right. Then we've got the big buy, the big buy, the big guy. Look at that. Very cool. Sadly, and I could be wrong, people who've played this before, let me know, but sadly the minis don't really pay much of a fact, play much of a factor. They're just like, you know, you just put them on the table for a second and then they're immediately gone again. Like uh, Tainted Grail had the same problem. You have minis, but they don't really do much. So, so I've heard it's the same here. This is really cool though. I mean, even though the minis might not be very useful, they are still really cool to have. And to paint eventually. Yeah. All right. So we have two that are slightly smaller, but pretty cool nonetheless. Look at this. Uh, very nice. Okay, next one. Oh, there it goes. This would be a paint to paint though. So many openings and, and holes and everything. Okay, <coughs> next up is we have a ship. There's also a ship stand these, so all the ships have a hole at the bottom to put it in, whichever one you've chosen. Okay. Then we have a upgrade, I'm sure. Like a dome. Then we have another upgrade but then you can see you can actually put these together and you've got yeah it's nice right and next we have this thing so once again you can also put that in there so you have different upgrades which is cool then you have an umbrella I mean, it's not an umbrella, but it's also an upgrade. It's a shield. Yeah. Then you have this one. And you can see on the top that those upgrades can actually go in there as well. Okay. Then we have a ship. A 
No very poor ship. Well, basically, it's all going to be ships from here on out for a while. This is a more sporty version. I'm sure, it's pretty fast. Next up. Okay. This is not a ship. It's probably also an upgrade. Then it's back to ships. All right. Another one. And this one. There we go. And this looks like kind of like a church, I have to say. And then another ship. And the last ship. Because then all this stuff is a couple of upgrades, and then there's a second layer of minis. All right. So we have this upgrade. And then we also have this one. And One. Okay, cool. So then we take the top layer off and reveal underneath. This one doesn't have to be taken off because there's nothing underneath. Have to try to find a way to get this plastic off though. It's not easy. Wow, well, it's really stuck actually. Okay. Really stuck. Sheesh. Wow. Okay. And I'm going to see if there's nothing underneath, just in case. Surprise. No, but there is silica. All right. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks like it ran away from Diablo. Okay. There's two identical one of those, so I don't have to show both of them, just one is enough. Then we've got this one. Okay. Then we've got Kerrigan from StarCraft. Not really, but definitely reminds me of her. Is there a queen? Okay, this one is really cool. This reminds me more of the Protoss, but anyway. Okay, okay. There you go. This one. Okay. This next one, I think, is also pretty cool. Just imagining that they're like circling around, right? It's really cool. Okay. 
Like that. We have this one. This charming fella. Well, the next one looks a bit like a mushroom cloud, but it's actually <coughs> an eye worm. I have no idea. All right. Next up is this one. I think this one looks really cool too. That's the butt. So this is the front. Yeah, it looks really cool. Then we have a storm. I'm sure it is. Tornado. Okay. Okay, next up, if I can get it out. Yes, I can. This is really cool. It's a bit like a flesh-eating plant. But it's given underwater vibes, I feel. Okay. We've got this one. And there's two of these, so I'm only going to show one. There's some small ones. This one's kind of cute, actually. There we go. And there's this one. Nice. one this one we're almost at the end now three more to go this cool dude oh, I mean that I think this one looks really cool Okay, so there's two left. We have this guy here, which is, which is a little bit like an alien grandpa. Realize me or an alien elf, but okay. It's funny nonetheless. And then you have the last one. Pretty cool. There you go. Yeah. All right, that is it. That is all the minis. And uh, also all the boxes from uh, ISS Vanguard. Uh, like I said multiple times now, I can't wait to dive in. Uh, if anyone has any tips of what to do, what not to do to get started, do let me know. I am all ears. And aside from that, thank you very much for watching. My name is Joachim, this is so many games for the time, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.